I really love worker placement games, and I'm sure a lot of you folks out there do as well. And one of the things that I run into sometimes with worker placement games is that they can feel relatively samey and perhaps veer towards the lighter or more simplistic side. Barrage really flips that equation on its head. It's a simple game at its core. You're basically placing one or more workers down on your turn to trigger the corresponding actions that those workers unlock. But it offers a huge depth of decision making. You've got infrastructure that you can build on this board that will allow you to generate hydroelectric power. You've got different contracts you can try and fulfill that will give you bonuses or victory points. And you've also got to keep in mind that you've got to propel yourself up this energy generation track each round to enable you to score other victory points for the buildings that you've built out. Beyond that, you play as a nation with a CEO, and each of these have their own unique and asymmetric powers and properties, which is great. And you've also got to keep an eye out on what your opponents are doing because you can actually piggyback off some of the infrastructure that your opponents have built in this game. And if they use water to generate power in their dams, in their hydroelectric power plants, it can actually potentially flow downhill or downriver and you can use it on your turn. So there's a really interesting uh, interaction element there between the players, which just, I think, elevates this, this game to the next level. So overall... Um, I found this to be a super enjoyable game to play. Again, I love it when games combine a kind of light rule set, but really give you crunchy choices to make. And so if you like worker placement and you like this kind of economic theme, I'd highly recommend checking it out. The only downside for me was one of the components, which is this kind of wheel you use as a cooldown mechanism when you're building new structures. It was a little bit fiddly and flimsy, but it didn't really bother me too much. Um, Asides that, great game. Do check it out, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, or hit me up on Twitter at Game Minimalist. And in the meantime, enjoy your gaming.